what we're doing is talking about is how do you measure your pocket openings. A lot of people try to measure with a ruler. They try to get down on here and they say, oh, my pocket's uh, four and a half inches or my pocket's five inches. Uh, I don't like this tool, basically is what happened. It's hard to get on there, it's hard to measure. Plus, what you're doing is you're measuring a pocket at a point in space above what the ball actually feels. You're measuring a tip to tip depending on what table manufacturer, what your rail height is. What I'm trying to say is the best way to measure a pocket opening is with two balls. We know each ball is two and a quarter inches, so the total amount is four and a half inches if they were touching. Now, if you can do a close-up here, the way we do it in Diamond, we set a ball right in the tip, right in the middle of the stripe, right in the middle of the stripe on this side. And then we just look at what's the distance between the two balls. All you got to do is measure that little distance. You don't want to measure the whole thing. So if you'll notice, it's kind of hard to see from there, but if you look down here, part of that 10 ball is actually under the rail and part of the 9 ball is under the rail. The reason it is because you're at a point above half the ball. A lot of times a shot can actually be made and you, where you think it can't be made because it passes under the tip. All right, so here, if you'll see between these two balls, there's a little bit of space here. All right, well... The space that you lose here and the space that you lose here, this is a true four and a half inch pocket. You're losing approximately a 32nd inch and a 32nd inch here because it's under the rail. And that, those two 30 seconds are shown right here. So this is a four and a half inch pocket. So that's the easiest way to measure the pocket opening. There's one other specification that people always talk about. I see it on AZ Billiards all the time. They talk about your slate depth. How far can the ball sit in the pocket? All right. The way at Diamond, what we do is we envision a cue ball on the rail and the placement of the nine ball as deep as it'll go up against the facing before it falls in. If you sight down the rail, you'll see 40% of the ball is visible. Sighting down the rail means you, the ball, there's 40% of it sticking over. If your ball continues down the rail and you hit it, the tangent line where it touches the nine ball drives it right towards that tip. All right, the reason for 40%, well, that evolved over a period of tournaments talking to different players. I actually went to a tournament where your cue ball was on a rail. The ball stood so deep in the pocket, you couldn't even hit the ball. They had to go over here and hit the ball. That's wrong. We know it's wrong. But the problem we went through the last few years was deciding, well, what's right and what's wrong. All right, the deal is... On a lot of bar tables and other tables, this is as deep as the ball can fall in the pocket. Well, we don't want it that easy. We don't want it this tough. So the players together said they want 40% of the ball. So that's the specification for your slate depth. 40% of the ball must be visible at all times. So those two things, uh, just using a couple balls, can tell you what your pocket depth is and your pocket opening.